Today, we are going to do a complete tour of our RV, both inside and outside. Hello everyone, I'm Mercedes. And my name is John. And we are the RV Odd Couple. Long story short, we sold all of our possessions to RV full time with a toddler and a dog. And if you're new, please subscribe as we RV full time, sharing our mistakes, successes, tips, tricks, must have products, and we review our favorite places. This is the number one video that you guys have requested. And it's not that we haven't wanted to show you, it's just that we wanted it to be perfect. <laughs> Well, perfect doesn't exist, so we're going to show you what it's really like. Welcome to our home. All right, everybody. So I am outside to show you the outside of the rig now. This is the 2018 Sandpiper 372 lock. Uh, it is approximately 42 foot 9 inches long. The dry weight, this rig, is 12,962 pounds. And I'm just going to give you a quick walk around it. I don't think you need me in the video because my wife's a lot better looking than I am. And on this side, we've got three slide outs. There's the master up front. And then you've got, that's the baby's bedroom or an office you can make that. And then there's another slide out tucked in back there, which is in the living room. All right, guys, so this is the front end of the rig. Um, typically, when you load these up, you want to keep most of your weight on the front end, which is sitting on the pin or the axle of the truck. So I keep most of my heavy tools under here, but there's a ton of space under this thing. It goes about three feet back and it's uh, like 46 inches wide. So I got a lot of tools in there. Two 30 pound tanks. And then you walk over to this side. Added an extra battery. This is my battery compartment right here. And I went ahead and had them install another battery. And there's our inverter. And this is the big storage area. This runs the entire length to the other side of the rig itself. Park service panel, which is where I do most of my hookups. The 50 amp service on this thing is on the rear of the rig. Here's my hydraulic system for my Lippert auto leveling system and the slide outs. This is the other door. Again, it's pass-through. Tons of space. We do have an outdoor quick connect spray attachment, which is great for the dog. This back area here used to be the um, outdoor kitchen. Had a fridge, a sink, and what I did was I turned this into my tool shed. <laughs> so I love this area right here. That awning protects my slides so that uh, I still check them before I close them to make sure there's no junk or debris up there because you'll have problems if you do. But uh, every single slide out on this rig has those awning covers. All right, guys, so let's head inside and let Mercedes show you the inside of our rig. So here is our dining area. You can see the dinette style chairs. We did want to remove those, but we're actually using the bottoms as storage at the moment. So they're gonna stay until we're minimized enough. Now this was a huge thing I did, and if there's any tip I could give you, it would be this. Before we bought our Forest River, I got a copy of the plans, and I made, I took dimensions, you know, 3D dimensions of every single storage space. Because believe it or not, these are slightly different heights, um, but having a sense of how much storage you have makes such a big difference. Now, this is the entertainment center. A couple of things that I wanted to mention. You'll see we keep all of our DVDs and CDs back there. I absolutely love it. But you're gonna notice a big difference here. Because when you are RVing with a toddler, she's convinced this is her space. So when we got these, there were like panels, and there's a ton of room down here. So we're actually, he's moving the panels back, but don't be afraid to explore a little bit and um, look behind the panels, because just because there's a panel there doesn't mean that you use space behind it, but do so safely, only if, only if you know what you're doing. This TV came with the unit, and this is our sound system. It also doubles as a CD player, DVD player, which is awesome because since we're on the road and we have data restrictions, having DVDs for the baby is awesome because she loves educational cartoons. 
And it also comes with speakers. It has two interior speakers and one exterior speaker. And funny, but true, Sage loves pressing the buttons because it's ABC for the speakers. So she's constantly pressing the outside speaker. So I always have to pay attention to that, that um, our poor neighbors aren't listening to some cartoons. And then this fireplace is awesome. It's not just pretty, it actually heats really, really good and it's electric and it, it helps keep this area so warm at night. Now this area over here, this is a modification and we still have the original couch so we could get this to factory if we needed to. So this two seater recliner used to be over here where the desk is. And over here, Sandpiper came with sofa that was long, it took the whole space, and it had a pull-out bed. We didn't need the extra space to lay down, so what we did was we took our own cabin and we installed that here, and this is so much better here because it has the room to fully extend. These recliners are awesome. This is probably one of my favorite storage areas, as you can see, because it's so tall. The other thing that I love about this is the view. A lot of these units have smaller windows, but this window is so big, it's so pretty, so we've already seen a lot of wildlife. We needed a place to work, and for just three of us, we didn't need that much space to sit, so we have turned this into a desk. And if you're wondering how you can have a desk in the family area, these things, they're headphones, and John constantly has the headphones on while he's editing video so that he can concentrate on what he's doing while you know we're watching cartoons. The storage, I absolutely love this. Now, these um, shelves, I'm gonna add a link to these shelves because they're locker shelves. And what they do, there's different sizes, but I absolutely love having the two dimensions. But if you don't have these, then you just have one layer. And having that second level makes it so much nicer. So now this is the kitchen island. I absolutely love this. I've talked a little bit about this before, but these, um, this unit has two covers. So if I needed a lot of prep space, I can just take this and now I have all this prep space. Now I'm not going to go into a full on kitchen organization video. But if that's something that you guys would like to know more about, please let me know in the comments. Well, we put our knives inside the cabinet because when you have such a deep cabinet, sometimes things can get lost. And back here, we also have another one of those shelves that I mentioned that really gives the back of the cabinet that 3D so you can see everything in there because out of sight, out of mind. Now this is awesome. These pull out. And so I just have things that I use while cooking really handy right here. I absolutely love it. And there are three of them. And then another nice thing about this unit, it comes with a full on microwave, stove, oven. Look at this huge, nice residential fridge. This is so rare in RVs. And we have a big freezer, which funny story, our daughter has figured out that this is where the ice cream sandwiches are located. So we might have to add a lock here pretty soon. Electric, um, so no propane. And one of the things that we did when we bought it was we had them install a second battery. So the fridge stays on and our food stays cold while we're driving. So this is our snack area. It came with a wine rack, but we don't drink, but we do love our sugar. So we removed the wine rack and we put in this whole sugar. Um, I needed space for my spices. And it turns out I have a lot more spices than I expected. So this is a medicine cabinet. I was afraid that the glass would break, but it hasn't. What I found is that you can have glass in an RV. You just have to have, have it so that the movement is restricted. But um, we did have to add this little hook um, to keep it closed. You have to be really careful where you place it. This is a slide, and so we take extra precautions to make sure that this doesn't touch. Um, so if you don't know what you're doing and if you're not paying attention, don't do this. Um, but I absolutely love having this. And this is just a plain medicine cabinet. So one of the things that we absolutely fell in love with in our sandpiper is this room right here. I absolutely love the bunks. And 
this part lifts this can convert into a um, it's a futon so you can convert it into a couch but for just the three of us this is our daughter's bedroom these are her nursery room curtains and I just sewed velcro over here and with a little bit of velcro up there I've turned her room into a really cool fort and tons of storage here so I love it toys there we don't need to look at that more toys so before I take you upstairs I wanted to show you real quick this awesome little closet I can control the awning check the tanks right here and I have a nice little coat closet this is the loft this is one of the areas we haven't finished but we do have pictures of it before we filled it with stuff. And this is gonna be awesome for Sage when she gets older. This RV came with a central vacuuming system. Now onto the bathroom. You'll see the built-ins in the shower. There's a bench in the shower and there is tons of storage space. The drip that Camping World never fixed. According to Camping World, that's a fixed faucet. <laughs> this is our bedroom. This used to be really big. John made a modification and now it serves as a shelf. This dresser came with the RV. This is just like the kitchen, another medicine cabinet that we use for additional storage. It's also a great place to get ready in the morning. This closet is huge. This portion, we added the washer and dryer. We'll link below. Once we had the washer and dryer, we could no longer hang long things here, so we added shelves. And what's awesome is the closet bar here prevents anything from falling on the top shelf. But this closet is huge. It goes all the way to here. And in the back, it has built-in shelves. One of the things we did was we added this cube organizer that we got from Target. Put it back here for extra storage. And we're still working on minimizing, as you can tell. And we each have our own window to look out. Over here, I control the lights, and there's the neat blue one, and then the reading light. And we absolutely love our sandpiper. And no, we're not paid to say that, we truly love it. We looked at tons of RVs, we looked at class A's, class B's, and eventually we landed upon a fifth wheel because I still wanted to have a home kind of environment. Your needs are gonna be different. We have a toddler, so we needed a little bit more space. What matters is that you get what's right for you. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before I go to the bathroom, I wanted to show you this. Oh, you. Go. Before I show you the bathroom, I wanted to show you this feature. It came with hoses and I just attach them and they reach the entire RV. Okay, now just say, this is the central vacuum system. We have the, this right. came with a central vac. Okay. Hold on. Okay, go. This came with a central system vacuum. <laughs> central vacuuming system. Central vacuuming system. Try it system. again, go. Okay. This RV came with a central vacuuming system.